uh, and sorry for the delay. Um, like I said, this is Nandini Bajpai. I'm the author of A Match Made in Mendi, which uh, Hachette India has just published an Indian ed edition of in paperback, and it should be available in India. Um, I did get a bunch of questions from uh, Hachette India, and I'm going to read through them and try and answer your questions. If you have any other questions, please, please feel free to type them, and I will try and answer them also. So the first question they had was, where did you get the idea? Where did the idea for the book come from? So the idea for this book was actually not my book, uh, was not my idea. It came from a book packager that I work with called Cake Literary. And uh, what they do is they come up with interesting concepts that are marketable, that are commercially viable, and they try and find a voice to write it. So this idea was theirs, it's a very interesting idea, and they thought I had the voice to write it. So I ended up writing it for them, the execution was mine, the concept was theirs. So the idea, all credit to Cake Literary for that. Um, the second question is, uh, what were some of the challenges you faced while writing A Match Made in Mendy? Um, so the first challenge I had for uh, working on this book, while working on this book, was that originally the uh, they had planned to make it a middle grade book, which means that it was meant for younger children. It was meant for kids in from class 6 to 8. And uh, so it was, you know, the execution was completely different. Um, I see some of your questions. I'll get to them after I, after I go through all the questions that I have from the publisher. So uh, going back to the question, uh, originally the book was supposed to be a middle grade novel. And uh, what ended up happening is Little Brown bought the book and they said we love the idea and we love the voice but it needs to be young adult and I completely agree with them it's a book about a dating app and uh, it makes much more sense in high school uh, than in middle school so the challenge was to rework the entire novel and make it work for uh, you know for characters that happen to be in high school so what is your favorite book of this 2019 so far my favorite book for 2019 is a novel by M.T. Anderson called The Assassination of Brangwain's Purge. Uh, it's really funny and it makes a lot of very interesting points about, you know, uh, misinformation between two cultures that are, you know, supposed to hate each other and don't have proper information about each other. In this case, it's about elves and goblins. Um, so it was really funny and also had many layers that were a lot deeper than just the surface story about elves and goblins. Uh, what inspired you to write A Match Made in Mendy? So I just talked about uh, the fact that the idea was not mine, but uh, once once I got started writing it, I found inspiration really everywhere you know everywhere from my own life from people I've known and uh, you know to flesh it out and to make it into a proper book um, I had to you know really look at what I knew growing up about relationships in India and what I've learned since I've moved to the United States about how relationships and dating work in this country uh, what is your perspective on modern relationships in the age of social media and dating apps? I, I think it's great. I think you have so many more so many more chances to meet people because these things exist, because dating apps exist, because social media exists. Our circles have just gotten much, much larger. So, you know, that is all for the better, I think. So... I wish these things had been around earlier, but, uh, you know, when I was searching when I was younger, but, uh, you know, good for the kids now. Um, will you ever write a historical romance or any other subgenre of romance? Well, in fact, I have written, I have written uh, a historical romance. 
it came out with Rupa a few years back. It's called Starkist, and it's set actually in 12th century India, and it is very much a love story. But it's it's about an astronomer's daughter set in Ujjain, and it was really really fun writing this book. And I love George Atair growing up, so you know historical romances are something I love. And I'd love to try my hand at fantasy, um, you know, and dystopian fiction and lots of other genres. But I tend to enjoy writing romance in all these different versions. Uh, what is, who is your favorite character in A Match Made in Mendy? <coughs> so my favorite character in A Match Made in Mendy is Simi, Simran Sangha, who is the protagonist, who is the main character. And um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out who she was, you know, what she was interested in, what she wanted to be, and uh, how she related to her family, how she related to her peers. So I spent a lot of time in her head. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so she is my favorite character out of everybody in the book. Um, are any of the characters in the book based on people you know in real life? So, <coughs> yes. Um, uh, sorry, I'm looking at that question. It says, is there an English translation? Actually, the book is in English and it was published first in the US. And it is also available in, uh, in uh, the UK and in Australia. So it is in English only, actually, so far. Um, going back to the questions, are any of the characters in the book based on people you know in real life? I wouldn't say a whole character is based on anyone I know, but, uh, <clears throat> but uh, there are facets of people I know in all of the characters that I'm writing. Uh, anatomy of a bookworm oh no are you sick I am coming down with a cold and it's been a very busy weekend so I'm sorry if I look a little wheezy and coffee but you can't get my germs through live so that's a good thing um, um, so like I said there's no whole character that is uh, that is based on anyone I know but they are um, many many facets of people I know in the characters that I write always uh, what message do you hope all brown Indian Indian American girls will take back from your books um, the message I would really like to send all Indian American girls Indian girls brown girls is that you know you are important you should be in books uh, there should be books about you. There should be books about all kinds of brown girls. There should be books about, you know, uh, sorry, uh, about, you know, fierce brown girls, about introverted brown girls, about extroverted brown girls, about all kinds of brown girls, because you matter, you know, you are important. There should be books about you. And I love writing books that reflect <coughs> The culture that I grew up in and I think everybody should read them <coughs> who are some of your favorite authors and have they helped you come out of a reading slump so I have so many favorite authors I can't even make a list of them they are just so many <laughs> but uh, when I'm having trouble sticking with a book I reread my favorite books. So, uh, one of my favorite books is, oh, I don't see it here, is, uh, is <clears throat> A Suitable Boy. So, if I really want to get into, and it's huge and it's awesome. So, I love this book when, you know, when I want to go back to a comfort read, I will read A Suitable Boy. And the other book that I will read is, and I love Vikram Seth. He is one of my favorite authors. And uh, if I'm really, uh, if I'm really sort of not finding my voice, one of the books I'd like to read is Those Pricey Thakur Girls, 
which is written by my sister Anuja and if you know if I need reminding who I am and you know where I come from that really helps to center me all of her books help to center me so that's one of the ones I'll read when I need to get out of a reading slump and can you tell us a little bit about the process of pitching an agent so I don't currently have an agent but I've had two agents in the past and um, it's it's a long it, in the US it's a really long process to pitch an agent um, you have to do your research you have to make sure that whoever you are pitching actually is interested in your writing and in the kind of books that you write so there's a lot of information out there about uh, agents you can try and do that research and uh, make sure that you are pitching the right genre, you're pitching the right um, you know, type of book to the right person. Don't send fantasy to somebody who only wants realistic fiction. Don't send like a happy fluffy contemporary to somebody who likes historicals. You have to do your research. And uh, you know, just be patient because it takes a long time sometimes to get an agent. If you're lucky, you'll get one right away, but you know, it, it can take time. So have patience. Um, how long did it take for you to write your first book? Um, I would say the first book that I wrote was Rishi and the Comic Cat. It's a middle grade novel. It's much shorter than my other books. Uh, and it took me about seven months to get through the first draft because, and I, before that I couldn't even believe, I didn't even believe that I could finish a whole story. <laughs> so it was really nice to get that moment when you get to the bottom, uh, you get to the end and you can actually type the words the end. It was really, really satisfying to do that. Uh, but that's how long it took me to write my first novel. But since then, you know, I've become more efficient. I've written a book, a first draft in three months. But of course, then I took another three months to revise the whole thing. But it really depends, you know, uh, what the book is about and how comfortable I am in it. Uh, the historical, it took me a long time just to do the research. So <clears throat> that is how long it took me to write my first book. Now that is all the questions that they sent along to me. Uh, if there is any questions I can answer for you, please let me know. I am looking and I don't actually see any questions from you. Hello, hello, Como. Um, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I hope I get well soon too. Um, <clears throat> So if that is everything and nobody has any questions, I will switch off and I will again apologize to all of you for the delay in getting this started. I actually had to uninstall Instagram and reinstall it to get the live button back. For some reason it just vanished just when I needed to go live. Um, <clears throat> and the other thing I'd like to do is apologize to all the chess fans out there who were while I had Instagram while I was doing the Instagram takeover for a chat India there was a lot of people who were liking Vishwanathan Anand's book cover and I was probably annoying them with all my feeds of my dog and the Boston Book Festival and all the other things and so sorry to them that book looks wonderful I will probably try and get a copy um, Forlorn Thoughts has a question <coughs> What are some of your must-read books? Well, um, I like everything by Vikram Seth. If you're talking about YA, recent YA, uh, well, Harry Potter, <laughs> many, many books like that. Um, I am scanning for another question. Hello. I am currently working on a book and want to approach a publisher when it gets finished. Any help? Well, if you're in India, you don't, uh, you can actually send something called a query, query letter to uh, publishers who might be interested in the genre of book that you're writing. And so, you know, you're basically sending them a pitch and, um, you know, a sample of your writing 
uh, you have to submit it to them, you know, to really make a, make a start. So yeah, polish your query letter, polish your pitch letter and send it out there and see what feedback you get from them. What is your favorite underappreciated novel? TR Writer at Work. Um, I think, okay, that is something I can answer. Uh, my favorite underappreciated novel is um, Haroon and the Sea of Stories by Salman Rushdie. I love that book. Nobody's ever heard of that book because it kind of falls between the crack between adult books and children's book. You know, what is it? Uh, it is, it is, you know, all of those things. And especially if you like writing, if you like storytelling, it's a really good book to read. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out that book. If you could tell your younger self anything, what would it be? Um, if I could tell my younger self something, I would say, you know, uh, I used to be a systems analyst. I worked in uh, for a financial company, but I always wanted to write, but I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it made any sense. And I would self to, you know, follow those dreams and actually do try my hand at writing. So that's what I would do. And if that is all the questions everyone has, I will sign off. I will end the session. And I really want to thank Pechet India for publishing the book, for allowing me to do the Instagram takeover. And uh, thanks to all of you for joining the live session and asking me all these great questions. Thanks. Bye.